Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm doing a little review today on a couple of products I purchased the other day. The Physician Formula CC Cream. It's a primer and foundation in one. And the Physician Formula Concealer. That's supposed to be anti-aging product. This is how they look in the containers. Really, really pretty packaging. I applied it with MAC primer on the one side just to see how it would work with a primer and then I did it without. I know it did say it had a primer in one but I was just curious because this primer has moisturizers in it so my face is dry at times so I thought it, I would just give it a try and just see what happens. So the claims of this product, it's got some really phenomenal claims. It says ultra smoothing, reduce the visibility of pores, wrinkles, fine lines, dark circles, age spots, blemishes, uneven skin tone, shadows, discoloration, signs of fatigue. It says color correcting pigment and anti-aging. That's kind of what attracted me to this product. If it says it can help smooth out wrinkles and it's for anti-aging, it's like a magnet for me. The claims of the concealer are pretty much identical. Again, it's the same visibly corrects age spots, dark circles, blemishes, uneven skin tone, dullness, discoloration, fine line wrinkles, signs of fatigue. Again, it is a color correcting pigment and anti-aging. I did not enjoy applying this product. I found that um, I had a heck of a time getting it to cover my nose properly. It was looking like it was peeling and flaking. Definitely the side with the primer was the hardest to work with. I didn't really have to do any touching up on the side that I didn't use a primer. The reason I'm assuming that they do say there's a primer built within the product. So I would never ever use it with a primer again. I didn't find it did a great job with my pores. I find it a lot of work. I don't know. Would I try it again? Yes, I'll try it again but it's definitely not one of my favorite products. I will probably land up returning it. I uh, put some of the Giorgio Armani. This is a product that is one of my holy grail products. I don't use it for the reason. It says dark circle concealer. I don't have dark circles, but this is my, as you can see, one of my holy grail products. So what I did with that is I just put some on my nose and just use a beauty blender just to blend it in because I just could not get the flakiness or I should say scaliness almost like a lizard like a lizard skin and when I went to Planet powder I used it cosmetics powder just a very little bit I found that um, the foundation was still very dry or sorry the opposite it was very wet and it was moving around I think I quite like the concealer though but I did find that it was still moving like now it's really it's not tacky or anything but it definitely gives very, very light coverage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wear it to work today. I'm not super excited about anybody getting close to my face today. I kind of, it makes me feel uncomfortable. But I'm gonna see how it holds up through the day. I did spray it with Fix Plus, and I will check in with you tonight and let you know my final thoughts on these products. check-in on this foundation or I should say it's a CC cream and uh, this concealer physicians formula I totally am not impressed at all I think I will be returning it the reason being I definitely like to have more 
cover. I like to cover more up. Like if I'm gonna wear a foundation, I want it to make my face look pretty much perfect. Where I find this is definitely a CC cream. You can hardly even tell that you're wearing any foundation on your face. I've had it on for about 12 hours now. You definitely don't want to look close up. It looks pretty bad. I would at this point if I was to go out, I would let wash my face and start over. I noticed, um, I don't know if it's because of the foundation or the CC cream, but my eyebrows all kind of wiping off and um, I did work today and, and it was pretty hot at work, but I don't know, my wrinkles and stuff are really showing because I didn't touch them up at all during the day. Like often I'll just go into the bathroom and just rub some oil or something on my, on my under eye wrinkles. But uh, overall, I'm not impressed. I, I won't be using it again. I'm going to definitely return it and I'm going to go back to a foundation. Uh, yeah, so that is my opinion on these two products. It, like I said, it does say it's great for anti, for aging skin, covers up fine lines and wrinkles. It's supposed to diminish pores and smooth out your skin. And it looks pretty much exactly the same as it did this morning. But all my blemishes, everything's still showing. I don't find it, it did any of what it says on there. So that's a thumbs down for that product. I love the company, don't get me wrong. They've got a lot of fantastic products, but this just is not one of them that I am enjoying at all. So thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, then you can see some future videos. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.